I'll be showing you how to use the Rust Create Hyper. It's an asynchronous HTTP implementation that can be used both client and server side. It's lower level than Actix Web, Warp, and that sort of thing. So you have to do your own implementation of things like routing, URL parsing, etc. Let's get into it. I created this new Rust project. Let's look in the cargo.toml to see what I brought in. So I pulled in Hyper, Tokyo for the async runtime, and Tower. Tower is used by Hyper for the Hyper server. I'll make a more in-depth video about Tower, but basically it allows you to build services that wrap one another, kind of like an onion. So the top service, like let's say you have log, takes a request in and processes it, then passes it to the next service, like rate limit service. Then the rate limit service passes it to the router service and then to the handler service, which will convert it to a response. And then it sends it back up the stack until it exits out. So we'll implement a simple service for Hyper. I have an HTTP server running on port 8080. And if we curl it, it just returns a test page. So let's create an HTTP proxy server that allows us to add a proxy server to our curl command that runs on port 3000, and that will be our hyper server. Let's go into our main.rs. So an HTTP proxy needs to take a request, then make a request to the destination server, return the response it gets back to the proxy client. Let's set up a hyper server for now. Use hyper. We'll need to run it on port 3000. So we'll do let adder is equal to socket adder, socket adder from pass it a pass it an array, and we'll just run this on localhost. Then pass in port and put 3000. Now let's create the hyper server. It's just to do that, it's just server and then bind on a socket address. Pass it in as a reference. And then this server will have to serve a make service, which is basically just a factory that will produce services, which again is just that thing that takes a request and returns a response. So we'll do serve, and then we'll have to pass it a make service. For now, let's just process each response. So do if let, we'll print out if we have any errors. We'll have to await the server to await each response. And then we'll just print out if we have an error. And this needs to be a tuple. Okay, so now let's create a service. And this will just be a function. We'll call it handler, so it'll need to be async since hyper is asynchronous. It'll take in a request from hyper and it'll contain a body. Then we'll want to return a result that contains a response with a body. We could also return a hyper error. Let's say we just want to return a hello from the HTTP proxy server for now. So let's just build our own response with response new. And we needed to create a new body. And we can do that with body from and a string. And this needs to return a result, so it should be okay. Very nice. Now we can actually build the make service factory with make service is equal to, we'll need to bring in service and two things. So we'll want the make service function and also the service function, which actually builds the service. So this make service function, you can call it and then it will generate a new service to respond to the request that you pass it. So basically it will return a new closure and that closure takes in a request just like our handle function and then it responds to that request with a response. Simple enough. So in this case, let's create a closure. It needs to be async. This closure needs to return a service because this is a factory for generating services. 
and there needs to be in a result, so we'll do OK. We'll let Rust fill in the type with an underscore, and then we need to return an infallible, meaning it cannot return an error when generating the service. So we'll just say infallible. Then we need to actually build a service. Hyper has this function service fn that will turn a function into a service that it can use with service function, and then just pass in the function name. And we need to just, we'll just do an underscore to make this type work. So if you're confused what the service fn function does, it basically takes a function that it passes in and returns a service, which is just a re-export of the tower service. So if you actually click on the hyper service, you can see it takes us to tower. And this can be called with a request, and then it returns a future that contains a response. And again, I'll make a video with going over tower explaining why this is helpful and how it's so powerful. But for now, that's the gist of it. Now that we've created the simple hyper server, let's go ahead and run it and then see what it returns when we curl with the proxy. So you can see it says hello from HTTP proxy because we're using that proxy in our curl command. Now let's actually implement the proxy. To do that, all we really need to do is pass along the request. And since Hyper has both the server and client HTTP implementation, that's quite simple. All we have to do is create a new client with let client is equal to client new. This client can send a request with client and then request. Then we just have to pass in a request and await it. So this just proxies the request the HTTP proxy receives to the destination server. Let's restart it and see what the proxy returns. You can see it returns the test page. And if we actually curl the HTTP destination server on port 8080, that is indeed the page that lives there. That's really how simple it is with Hyper to build an HTTP proxy. I'll show you a few more things. This make service function, if you look at it, it basically just creates a new service from this handle function every time it's called. And tower has a useful struct called tower make shared. And this implements the make service. That is what the make service function returns. So we can just use this struct to wrap our service function instead of calling this make service function. And this will generate a make service factory for us. That way we don't have to actually use this. This only works if the service is clonable and the service function is clonable, so it will work. Now let's say we want to build another function kind of in the same vein of a service that will wrap this handle function and log requests. Let's call it async function log. And it will also take in request and return a result. This log function will call the handle function with the request and then await it. But it will also log the request with, let's just log out what path it uses. So we'll say let path is equal to request and then URI and get the path off the URI. Now, let's say when you're requesting a proxy, we want to log out if you use the slash API route. So we can do if path starts with slash API, then we'll want to print out API path along with the path. Now let's just print out, now let's just print out something generic for the other routes. Then we just need to replace the service function with the log function. And this isn't really implementing it in the same way this is, where each of these are a service. So in this case that we're doing only the log as a service. I'll show you in the tower video how to actually build these layers of services. But for now, this works well enough. And you can also see how you can build a router with this. Let's see what this returns. And you can see it returns the generic path when we request on the index, and then if we request an API, it returns with the, and prints out the API path. So this should get you started with the building blocks of using Hyper. If you have any questions, let me know. Thank you for watching.